Today's thought is, the ink of the scholar is more holy than the blood of the martyr. I repeat it again. The ink of the scholar is more holy than the blood of the martyr. Good morning everyone. Welcome back. I hope all of you are safe and fit at home, studying well and completing your work on time. This video is for the students of class 8. Subject English. And today in this video we are going to cover one chapter of our main course book that is Honeydew. This is our chapter number 3 and the name of the chapter is Glimpses of the Past. It is written by famous writer S.D. Savant. This is my lecture number 1 of the same chapter. This chapter is taken from Honeydew book. Students, this chapter is written in comic style. It is one of the famous drama of S.D. Savant. We shall cover this chapter in two lectures. So today we shall read the detailed summary of the chapter along with word meanings of part 1. Before start reading the chapter in detail, let us see first about the author. S. T. Savant was born on 31st August 1940 at Maharashtra in India. He was famous for his books or works that is Mrityunjay, Chava and Yugandhar. He was great writer, teacher and editor. He was the first Marathi writer to be awarded with prestigious Murti Devi award in 1994. He died on 18th September 2002 at Goa in India. So this was about the author. Now let us know what are the objectives of the chapter. Number 1. To enable the students to understand the British reign in India. Number 2. The learner gets the knowledge about some freedom fighters from the given text. Number 3. To enable the students to write the events in order. Number 4. The learner gets the knowledge to narrate the events in chronological order. Number 5. The learner feels the love and respect for the country and patriots. So these were the objectives of the chapter. Let us see the key points of the chapter. Number 1. It is the history of our or our country during 1757 to 1857. Number 2. India was under British rule during this period. Number 3. Indian princes were dethroned by the British East India Company. Number 4. Indian people led a miserable life during this period in every field. So these were the key points of the chapter. So now let's see the introduction of the chapter. India had a glorious past. Its splendor and prosperity caused many foreign invasions. One of the foreign superpowers had captured this golden bird and ruled for about 200 years. That was the British. When the British slowly transitioned their position from traders to rulers, many Indians tried to protest against it. But it didn't happen overnight. This transaction took place over a hundred years in between 1757 to 1857. And the protest ultimately resulted in the revolt of 1857 or as we know it was the first war of independence. This chapter gives us a glimpse of some important instances that took place during this period. So this was the introduction of the chapter. So now 
Let's read the chapter with detailed summary of part 1. The martyrs. Martyrs means who are killed because of their religious or other beliefs. This lesson is about the Indian freedom struggle. British people came to India for the purpose of trade, but they subdued the Indian princes when they saw loopholes in their administration. They oppressed the natives by enforcing taxes and put them in jail. However, revolt began from Indian side with the coming of preachers like Raja Ram Mohan Roy. In 1857, the Indian forces faced British forces directly. Battles were fought all over the North India to set our country free from the British rule. At a function in Delhi in January 1963, Lata Mangeshkar sang the famous song by Kavi Pradeep, and Mere Vatan Ke Logo, that is said to have moved Nehru to tears. Oh my countryman, let your eyes fill with tears as you recall the sacrifices of India's martyrs. Means, the famous singer Lata Mangeshkar sang a patriotic song about martyrs who laid down their lives to gain independence. Leaders such as Jawaharlal Nehru, Lal Bahadur Shastri and Indira Gandhi listened to the song that urged means encouraged everybody to remember and mourn means express great sadness the sacrifices of the freedom fighters this story gives some glimpses of the history of india from 1757 to 1857 and of the conditions that lead indians of their first war for independence means jawaharlal nehru was reminded of Gandhiji, Bhagat Singh, Netaji and many others. Others means leaders. It is said that this song brought tears in the eyes of Jawaharlal Nehru. Number 2. The Company's Conquests. Conquests means victory from 1757 to 1849. The British East India Company with its superior weapons was extending its power in 18th century India. Here the meaning of superior weapons means the British East India Company had latest weapons and guns whereas Indian princes used to fight with scots and spears means in India of 1757, the East India Company was in a strong position. Compared to the Indian princes, they had superior weapons. So, here they is referred to the British East India Company. Part of the reason behind the success of foreigners was the short-sightedness of Indian princes. Short-sighted means unable to see things clearly unless they are relatively close to the eyes. That upstart Raja Bha call the English merchants. They will help me to defeat my cousin or him. Means not considering what will happen in future. Besides, Indian princes were short-sighted in their approach to the events of the time. Indian princes were fighting each other. They often sought, means looked for the help of the company to defeat other princes. The internal rivalries among the Indian rulers 
helped the East India Company easily subdue Indian princes one by one. Rivalries means competition for the same objective. A far-seeing ruler like the brave Tipu of Mysore fought the British till he died fighting. Fought is a past participle of fight. Means this worked in favor of the company. It could easily subdue. Means bring under control. These princes one after the other. Because they were fighting with each other. However, the brave Tipu Sultan of Mysore fought the British. He died in the battlefield fighting with the English. How did Indians react to this conquest? There were leaders who were talking in favor of the British. Thank God there is peace in the country now. No more wars and no looting by thugs. It is God who sent the British. Our destiny is linked with them. There were leaders who were talking in against of the British. The white man has killed or dethroned all our kings. No one's denying that some kings weren't good, but they were of this land after all. We have now basically become slaves to foreigners. Means they were prepared to compromise with their freedom. However, with the time, they realized that they were ruled by the outsider people regret that prince was at least their own countryman. The general reaction to the British rule was not same everywhere in India. There were some who thanked British for ushering in an era of peace. Others bemoaned means express discontent that the country was subjected to foreign rule. Number 3. British rule from 1765 to 1836. Religious leaders preached ideas like untouchability and child marriage. One leader said anyone who crosses the seas loses his religion. Another said, women are the cause of all misery in the world. Know that, O oh fools. Some religious leaders supported the social evils such as untouchability and child marriage. They forbade crossing the seas and going abroad. A few said that women were a blame for all the misery means the social fabric was in bad shape. Religious leaders preached to give a religious message. Absurd practices like untouchability and child marriage. Due to that, the white hated and disbelieved them. When the social leaders talking with each other, they said that it is a truth that Indians had lost self-respect and naturally the British scorned them, rejected them. The natives are unworthy of trust, incapable of honest. A man who was standing with them, who was not a leader, he said, you are true, you are honor, but I am honest. So, in this way, we can say that the truth was that Indian has lost self-respect. The white hated and disbelieved them means the british scorned rejected them them means indians this is a scene when a british was talking with a farmer being merchants the british wanted quick profits and their heavy taxes forced farmers to abandon their fields british said you are still in areas if you don't pay, next week I will have you sent to jail. Areas means money that is owned and should have been paid earlier. Farmer said, but your men are taking all my crops. 
the english were merchants first their aim was to make quick profits they imposed heavy taxes on the farmers they sent many farmers to jail for failing to pay their taxes arrears the farmers and the artisans were the worst hit heavy taxes ruined the farmers this is a scene when britishers were talking with each other furthermore the british invented methods which gave them even more profits the goods manufactured in england should not have any import duty when brought into india one britisher said a splendid idea chum the east india company's laws began to cripple indian industries cripple means destroy means they destroyed indian cottage industries also in order to sell good manufactured in england they exempted all goods imported from england from duties thus they ruined indian artisans and their business so the british used every method to make maximum profits they imports from england became tax free and famines inevitability followed between 1822 and 1836 15 lakh indians died of starvation the british policies ruined the expert artisans and their businesses means the british cut the thumbs of expert artisans the british policies ruined the expert artisans and their businesses this caused famines inevitability means unavoidably between 1822 to 1836 15 lakh indians died of starvation number 4 Ram Mohan Roy from 1772 to 1833 This is a scene when Raja Ram Mohan Roy was talking with a person Ram Mohan Roy a learned man from Bengal understood what was wrong with the country Let us not despise means dislike ourselves Our ancient culture is great and we are capable of greater achievements superstitions have been ruining us means raja ram mohan roy understood what was wrong with the country he tried to reform means save the society from the superstitions this is a scene when raja ram mohan roy was talking with his wife uma he told his wife uma cows are of different colors but the colors of their milk is the same different teachers have different opinions but the essence of every religion is the same means he taught people that the main precepts means a general rule of all religions were the same means we all are equal This is a scene when Raja Ram Mohan Roy was talking with people. He was attracted by science and modern knowledge. Knowledge should be practical and scientific. He started newspapers but the suspicious British stopped them in 1823. Means he called upon the people to feel proud of their ancient culture and get the society rid of silly superstitions. He pointed out that all religions preached the same thing he understood the importance of science and modern knowledge he emphasized the practical use of knowledge he started newspapers in india the suspicious british stopped them in 1823 this is a scene when raja ram mohan roy went to england to meet britishers he crossed the seas and went to england to see what made the british powerful there he told them 
we accept you as rulers and you must accept us as subjects but you must ever be mindful of the responsibility a ruler owes to her subjects means he crossed the seas and went to england to see what made the british so powerful he then adopted the middle path he agreed to accept the british as rulers but they must remember or there he reminded the britishers that rulers owe o means obligation to repay a duty towards their subjects number 5 oppression oppression means unjust treatment from 1765 to 1835 this is a scene when indians were put into jail without any fault by britishers but the british continued to oppress indians in 1818 they passed regulation 3 under which an indian could be jailed without first being tried in a court means from 1765 to 1835 the british continued to oppress indians in 1818 they passed resolution under which an indian could be jailed without trial in a court this is a scene when britishers were talking to each other about private business at the same time british officers in india got big salaries and also made fortunes in private business means the british officers in india drew drew means earning large salaries besides they made fortunes fortunes means a very large amount of money or property in private business this is a scene when britishers forcefully exported goods by 1829 for example britain was exporting goods worth 7 crore rupees to india each year britishers forcefully exported goods from britain worth 7 crores by the year 1829 this led to the closing of an indian industries this is a scene when governor general bentrick reported back home he said the bones of cotton weavers are bleaching the plains of india means the british governor general of india bentrick reported to england then he said the bones of cotton weavers are bleaching the plains of india indian weavers lost their livelihood and it was getting difficult for them to sustain against the cheap option weavers means a person who weaves fabric this is a scene when britishers were stealing indians while indian industries began dying the british prospered on the company's loot loot means to steal something or to steal good the indian industries began dying while the british prospered means became financially successful on the ruins of indian industry means after looting or after stealing goods from indians britishers became financially successful or strong so this is the end of the story students you have to complete your homework on the basis of the chapter explained by me read chapter 3 glimpses of the past and write word meanings highlighted in the video based on the understanding of the chapter write the answers of the questions mentioned in the book honeydew as page number 45 comprehension check question number 1 2 page number 45 working with the text question number 1 2 students since you are not having your honeydew book with you 
So here in this video, I have mentioned your homework in detail. Comprehension check, page number 45, question number 1. Look at picture 1 and recall the opening lines of the original song in Hindi. Who is the singer? Who else do you see in this picture? Question number 2. In picture 2, what do you understand by the company's superior weapons? Question number 3. Who is an artisan? Why do you think the artisans suffered? Working with the text. Question number 1. Do you think the Indian princes were short-sighted in their approach to the events of 1757? Question number 2. How did the East India Company subdue the Indian princes? Question number 3. Quote the words used by Ram Mohan Roy to say that every religion teaches the same principles. Question number 4. In what ways did the British officers exploit Indians? So, this is the end of the lecture. At last, I would like to say that you have to complete your homework in your fair notebook by following the correct format. Students, if you like our videos, then hit on a like button and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you and have a nice day.